Hi and welcome back to our channel. I'm Jennifer and this is Kate and today we have a giant bin of Catholic books number two to sort through for our church library. If you watched our last video about library books, you know that we have seven gray tote bins like this full of books that we need to look through. So obviously today we are on to bin number two. We don't know what's inside, but we have heard that it is a mix of both old and new Catholic books. So we're very excited. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's see what we have. Where do we start? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. All right. Okay, so, well, I see one right off the bat that is going to make a lot of people happy, and it is this one, Jesus and the Jewish Roots of Mary by Brant Petrie. So I watched his series on foreign called Lectio Mary, which is based on this book. It was so good. So this is a copy that is extra in our church library that's going to go up for sale, so some lucky person will be able to buy this book. That's a good one. So I don't know what these are over here, but they look interesting. And we have The Pope's Visit, a special Time Life Books Report in full color. Oh my goodness, which Pope is that? It's not John Paul II, it is... Oh, oh my gosh, I think that's Paul VI. How, how old is this <laughs> magazine? It is, it's Pope Paul VI. Oh wow, that's old. Oh, that would be oh fun to goodness. look through. We get all kinds of things like this donated. It's just fun to look through and see. So maybe we'll put some pictures up on the screen. Yeah, I really don't know that much about Pope Paul VI. I know a lot about Pius XII. But anyway, so this will be interesting. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick one out. A Celebration of Angels. So we do get a fair number of books like this. And my problem with books like this is a lot of times it's not angels in a religious sense. It can be more angels in a new age kind of sense, which I'm not really a big fan of, you know, like crystals, angels, new age. So we will have to research this one a little bit more to see it has angel myths in it um different angel stories so i don't know we'll see. no this we'll one's kind of on the fence it i it's giving me that new age vibe so we'll have to research it let's see what this old book is only sun i have absolutely no idea it looks very old it looks like 1970s. An interpretation of Christ's life, I assume. What's the copyright? I'm, I'm thinking 70s. You know how I had to sniff out those 70s books. 53. Oh, I'm so wrong. <laughs> 1953. 1953. So again, that's another one that we'll have to investigate to see if the church might like to keep it in the library. It's Bishop Beagle, look who's here, come to investigate all the Catholic books that he doesn't read. That's partly why he's been excommunicated. Hey. Come here, Bishop. Here's Bishop Beagle. Okay. Hmm. Settle down. Okay, we might have Bishop Beagle joining us for some book investigations, even though he has been excommunicated for sleeping during Mass. You need a bath. Okay. So our next book here is um, Sacred Classics. I'm not even sure what this is, it looks like it is piano music. Oh, oh it has a CD. It has a CD with it. Yeah, oh, it's classical piano music. Oh, so Kate's a piano player. She might like to, no, <laughs> Kate's not interested in playing this classical music. Kate has to check it out. She's curious. our pianist. I'm curious, yeah, it's the piano accompaniment and then to different songs. I okay, I'll sing and you can play no well, maybe not. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's not go there, no no. Alright, I don't know what this is. That one looks very old. It looks kind of interesting. Lines of inspiration. That doesn't sound too Catholic library. Well you never know. It could be quotes. Guess a decade. Seventies, yeah, <laughs> right there seventies. Uh, I don't know. I've already been wrong once in this video. It's interesting, printed in royal blue yep. ink. Okay, yes. yeah, we'll put some pictures up on the screen. Kate's checking the copyright. 74. 74, oh uh, yeah. So these are inspirational quotes and poems. Mm. Very, very interesting. 
I don't know what to make of it. It doesn't seem like it would end up in the library. Let's see about this. Words of wisdom from the 1970s. Hmm. That doesn't go wrong there. (laughs) Can't go wrong there. Hmm. Okay, so the next book looks like another older title, Faith and Spiritual Life, which is something theology related. And it looks like, oh, it starts off with St. Peter. That's a good place to start. That's a good place to start. It looks a little bit technical. Chapter 2 on the Holy Angels in a Catholic way, not a New Age way. The Doctrine Mm -hmm. of the Guardian Angels. may not like these. Okay. It looks like it has potential. St. Elizabeth, the Charity of the Cross. It looks like one that would have to be investigated and or read. Yes. It does look like it has high potential, though. Let's see what this is. Oh, we have more from Pope Paul. This one is really falling apart. 40 photographs in full color suitable for framing. So wow. if you want some framed pictures of Pope Paul, well, then here you go. I just know about him from Humane Vitae. I think he was the Pope who did that. But evidently someone was a very big Pope Paul VI fan. So Here he is at the River Jordan. Wow, that's kind of neat. Oh, this is Catholic history right here. So that magazine is older than Kate and I probably combined, maybe. But we'll see. It might be his trip to the Holy Land. I'm not sure. Yeah, 1964. 1964. Okay. So the next one, I see the title peeking up at me, and it's Paris Priest, the story of Father McGivney, who founded the Knights of Columbus. So this is a newer title, and it's pretty popular. And... This looks like a completely brand new copy that was donated. And I know we already have at least two copies of this in the parish library. So this one also will go up for sale. It's a good one. All right, next up we have a book called Evangelizing Catholics, a mission manual for the new evangelization. Ooh, it's by Scott Hahn. So, Probably you've heard of Scott Hahn. I have not seen this book before. Again, this one looks completely brand new. Oh no, it's got some underlining on the pages, so it has been read, but golly. It does. There's a lot of underlining. There's a lot of underlining, but it's in pencil. It's not obnoxious. So this one could be interesting to read. It is dedicated by Scott Hahn to Pope Francis. So... Okay, so I'll have to see. I'll have to double check and see if we have this in the library. Let's see what this is. Healing Your Family Tree, a God-designed solution for difficult problems. Wow, (laughs) that sounds like it could be handy. No, our family's perfect. (laughs) Perfect, yeah. Yeah, totally. (laughs) Totally. Oh, Oh, boy. This um, this definitely looks like a manual. Looks like somebody got a lot of use (laughs) out of it but it is in the question and answer format. So they just have the question and then it gives the answer. I wonder if someone's family tree was healed and that's why the book was donated. And a movie ticket stub inside. Do people still go to the movies post pandemic? The price of the ticket is $5.75. So this was from 528-2000. But I don't know, in our area, maybe ticket costs twice that much, yeah. so definitely from a different era. Oh, let's see what this is. And the courage to be Catholic, crisis reform and the future of the church. This okay. again looks brand new. George Weigel is the author. Yeah. He writes a lot of Catholic books. I think um, it is brand new. I haven't read this one, so I'll have to look through it for sure. But I have to, we have so many in this bin that are almost brand new. I'm going to have to double check and make sure they didn't get in, in this bin by mistake. Oh, I like this one. I think we had this one before, Perfection is for You. Now, I think we had another book by him last time, Thomas Higgins. It was called something like The Way of Perfection. So we're still working on it. <laughs> we're still getting there. We're still getting there. But evidently, Thomas Higgins is an expert on perfection. <laughs> I wish we all were, right? <laughs> so, let us see. Okay, so this one is in Spanish, oh, actually. Just right up Kate's alley. Kate's fluent in Spanish. Oh, really? <laughs> Trying to. 
she practices every week with a fluent Spanish speaker, so it's part of her schoolwork. Yeah. We do get a fair so, amount yeah. of Spanish material donated to the church library. We have a lot of Spanish speakers, so that's to be expected, I guess, that we would get Spanish books. Yeah, I can't read it. I only know the food words in Spanish. Taco, you know, that type of thing. I can say a little oh, bit yes. of Spanish. Taco, that's very... <laughs> Is that even a Spanish Is that word? very advanced Spanish I would there. say I love uh, Mexican food. I love Spanish food. I should have been born Spanish. Uh, all right, here we have another Mother Angelica. This is different from our last video. This is private and pithy lessons from scripture. I always enjoy Mother Angelica. And this again looks completely brand new. Nice hard cover copy with a dust jacket, so this will also go up for sale. The wonderful names of our wonderful Lord. There are something like 300 titles or more than 300 in the Bible for Jesus. They're like Savior, Emmanuel, God is with us. Names and titles of the Lord Jesus Christ as found in the Old and New Testament. Um, that one actually sounds very interesting to me. Something that maybe I could use with my catechism classes. It has the name, then it has the Bible verse it's found in, and mm -hmm. then a little paragraph about it. Wouldn't that be so. a great devotional for Advent, or even for Lent? Mm, that's giving me ideas, <laughs> Kate. The Bible for everyone. Going over different biblical events. You have Ooh, David. Yeah, illustrations like David. The, uh -oh. <laughs> there goes the spine. There goes the spine. The birth of Jesus. Jesus walks on the water. There's a lot of pictures in here. Okay, so sadly I did not like that popping noise. And we do have that happen a lot. But sometimes these old paperbacks just fall apart in our hands, literally. And amazingly, the pages are all still intact. Sincerely yours, Paul. Is I, that Pope Paul or just regular Paul? I think this is a uh, regular Paul. He but did I'm write a lot sure. of letters. Regular Paul. He didn't like to use a lot of verbs though. He has a lot of long sentences with very few verbs. Oh, 1970s. <laughs> Check the copyright. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I don't like the pictures from the 70s. Back in the uh, 1970. 1970, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm so glad that style of book art has gone away. It can just stay away. I hope it never comes back. It can go stay away with bell bottoms. The Divine Savior, a pictorial life of Christ. That could be good. Yep, lots of pictures. Some very interesting pictures. Yes. We'll put some of those pictures on the screen. There's one of Jesus that was very striking, of just his face. The Passion from Within. So I don't know if the, this means Jesus' passion or your own passion. No, it, the kiss of Judas, <laughs> probably. <laughs> the three prayers on the Mount of Olives, the Lord is distraught. This actually looks like it could be pretty good. A good Lent book. A good Lent book. Let's see what this pink one is. Prayers and Meditations. An anthology, an anthology of the spiritual writings of Carl Radner. Okay. Yeah. Cardinal Rad... Is it, is it? It's Carl. <laughs> it's not a Cardinal Rad. He's not a Cardinal. Oh, he, got, he got promoted. He's just Carl. <laughs> that name does not sound familiar to me. Probably everybody knows him, but I don't, so we'll have to look him up and see what that one's all about. Let's see. Power and Poverty in the Church. This looks like an older one. So this was written during the time of Pope John the 23rd. So what is that then? That's the 60s, 60s-ish? Yeah, 1965. It could be interesting. And what is my purpose? Mm. Senior high students book. Okay, that's for you. Oh, really? Yeah, from the 60s, that's going to be very um, Very applicable. interesting picture. <laughs> I like the oh, 60s but, uh, illustration. The two-tone, like green and so black, or sort of blue and black. It's way better than the 70s. And our last book now that we have here is The Heart of Man is Genius for Good and Evil. So this is what I call a very sad paperback. 
pages have all yellowed and <laughs> it's been taped together on front and it's just kind of like a, a, a sad little paperback like you don't know what to do with it. Yeah, there, there's not much uh, visual or you know tactile pleasure from holding this book. It just looks old and, and sad, right. although the content might be fine. It's just not very visually appealing. Like it's, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what we'll do with this book. All right, so that is the end of bin number two. There were several brand new books in here, recent titles. There were some that were a little bit iffy, like the Angel Book, and then there were some really cool ones, like the Paul the Six books. So it was a it was a good mix of old and new. Very interesting, and I think that's it. And five more to go. <laughs> five more to go. Yay. So thank you for joining us for another book bin. Let us know in the comments if you like this type of video. We'd be <laughs> glad to keep going. We have a lot of bins to get through. But in the meantime, thank you for joining us here today. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.